Hello again. This is Robert Krizik with day two of actual recording. Um, on day one, we accomplished the vocal and drum track. Um, now, as you can see over to your left, that would be Brian attempting to work out a bass track um, on the keyboard because I tend to be over overly complicated and um, <coughs> things aren't exactly laid out um, and normal, uh, it's like a normal, um, let's just put it this way, it's not your Rod Stewart ballad, so it's, <laughs> far from, yeah, so that being the case, it's a little more complicated to lay out, but um, assuming he doesn't pull all of his hair out, which would take a long time. Um, yeah, he's got the Fabio look on. Yeah, he today. does. You know, he even said that earlier, actually. He said he needed a fan to have the wind blow through his hair. <laughs> his exact words, not mine. True, yes. I also said I had the Fabio look going on right there at that point, too. <laughs> Not with headphones, though. <coughs> that's kind of funny, because uh, that's what she just said, Brian. What, Fabio? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I can't believe it's not Baza. <laughs> Get back to work. You know? I, think, like, I kind of got something <coughs> I think you might like. Well, good. What's the plus? Um, we're, we're, we're probably gonna just going to be getting the bass down tonight. Um, and... Part of the bass. Yeah, we'll have to. Yeah, we'll, we'll work... From there, piece it together if need be, um, and then do the final mix. Oh, wait. Um, no, I don't want to do that. I want it to go. The mixer can be complicated. <sighs> no, 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 no. This is the mixer over here. Seemingly simple, yet. A serious pain in the butt? Yeah. Let's see. I'm going to do a small little bit of it. Okay. You listen to it. Pray that I don't screw it up. All right. Um, see if you like it. You know, just for the beginnings. Yeah. Because if it works out the way that I think it's going to work out, uh -huh. it allows me. It, it's it's simple, but it allows me to go right into the verse itself. Okay. Well, to give it a shot. We'll see. see how it works. All right. One of these days we're going to get speakers so you can kind of hear what's going on too. Okay, yes, for now, he's working inside the headphones and recording the bass track for the song. See, I do things kind of backwards as I explained to Brian earlier. Most bands would record the, the whole song um, and then do the vocals in last, or nearly last. Uh, for me, I find it easier to, to lay down the vocals um, right after the drum beat and then layer things from there. Um, that's just my particular preference in recording. Um, you know, I go with the melodies in my head and uh, that's his job to figure out what the hell I'm saying. So, we're getting there. It's a slow, painful process, but... Um, not as painful as it was um, in the beginning with other collaborations. This one is going quite well. We haven't killed each other yet, and um, I don't think we, I don't think we're going to. It's working out quite well. Lex is taking a cat nap, and we should wake him up with this. Huh? No. But no, it, it's um. It's definitely going very well today. We we talked a lot during the beginning part of the day, got some ideas down, and, um... Okay, as far as the beginning, yeah, I like it. Okay. I hope you like it. Well, I will get back to you guys tomorrow, probably. This will be today's entry, I guess, for now. Um, and, uh... Uh, 
Yeah, you didn't run out last year, sorry. I'm just on the game thing. Mm -hmm. Once again, if you want to um, look up my MySpace, you can either go to the YouTube, my YouTube site and click on the link, or just type in Robin Crazy's electric, electric chair and look for the pretty picture of me with the cute hat. <coughs> yeah, right. And uh, <laughs> I look rather dashing in that picture, I think. Um, Please. Tom so, uh, tomorrow <laughs> we're going to uh, hopefully get more um, done as far as guitar, keyboard, so on and so forth. But for now, we're trying to get the basics. And it's take some time. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm but it's coming. I'm going to listen to this and, and see what it's like. I want you to hear his comments first. Right, well, yeah. Listen, uh, listen, listen. And play. That's about as far as you should listen. <laughs> the rest of it's probably screwed up. I have to work on some timing because I've got to like get the whole timing of your singing down with the pressing of keys and such. But the very first part of it, you know, as far as a bass line for the intro, is it good? It's good up until you lost it, like in the... You started to lose your place and sound like in the yeah, uh, but yeah, it was it was good, really good, excellent in fact. But that Yay. was one of my kind of my idea was that's why I was sitting here thinking I had to get something going and I got oh, it going. It, it works nicely with that. It really does. Um, you just gotta bring more into more into groove with the with the the lines of the. When you, when you hit the verse. Yes, when I hit the actual verse. verse and everything. I think Brian's airline is starting to recede. It's called a widow's peak. It's not receding. I've been that way since birth, <sighs> people. Like okay. it or leave it, I don't care. <laughs> um, that's what Michael Bolton used to look like, too, at one time. Hmm. And look at Michael Bolton now. Sexy Blue Ray Cyrus is another example of somebody with a bad hair on it. Hi, little boy. Hi, little boy. Little boy. Is he awake? Little boy. Alright, well, like I said, it, it sounds really good. And, uh, I do like it a lot. And that was, it's hard to... I mean, because that because I'm I'm singing, not with the beat in that particular section. Yeah, when you stop singing with the beat, that's when it gets hard. Yeah, I know. Um, I'm singing against the beat, right there. You know, with the fill so far from Utopia Park. Um, You're singing with the beat until I started screwing up because I stayed with the beat and you didn't. <laughs> yeah, well, don't don't follow me necessarily. I don't think. I stay if you stay with the beat. I I kind of, I, I, I'm not going to follow you specifically, but I don't want to necessarily stay with the beat because I don't want to be off of where you're singing because I don't want it to sound bad. <laughs> yeah, true. That could, that could, that could backfire too. Well, just see, see where that takes you. Because that sounds good. But that was, that was just kind of what I got as far yeah. as the beginning, you know? Mm. This, yeah. This might take a couple of days. Well, yeah. But it's getting done. Yeah. <laughs> Piece it together, um, you know, and then when he gets... Yeah, break this thing a little better, it'd be easier. <laughs> because I could keep that little portion that we liked. Yeah. Ooh, it's heartburn. Still. Alright, but yeah, we could piece it, I, like, cut and paste a little bit. It's also far from Utopia, um... Eternal love was the key. It was there that I touched your hand. It was there that you kissed me. A dream it was there that I lost it, too. Yeah, yeah. Well, in a dreamlike state, I see it now. As clear as yesterday. We've been apart for so very long. It's so hard to know, know what to say. The entire part goes against the beat itself. But then it falls into it with the then. What the hell? In the world? 
It's Shelly. It's Shelly. Um, I'm going to stop recording now. Okay. Uh, talk to you guys later. Once again, mm-hmm. Robert Krejcik so left your chair on my screen. Check it out. Hey. Hasta mañana.